afternoon, Wash. Today is Monday, September 11th, A-Day, and today is Patriot Day. In case you don't know the meaning of Patriot Day, we are here to get you up to speed. Patriot Day was signed into law on December 18th, 2001, as a day to remember those who lost their lives in the terrorist attacks on our, on our country. On September 11, 2001, two hijacked civilian aircrafts crashed into the towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. A third hijacked aircraft crashed into the Pentagon outside of Washington, D.C., and the fourth hijacked aircraft crashed into southwestern Pennsylvania after passengers tried to take control of the aircraft in order to prevent the hijackers from crashing the air aircraft into an important symbol of democracy and freedom. Thousands of innocent people lost their lives in this tragedy. On Patriot Day, Americans should fly their flags at half-staff and observe a moment of silence to honor those individuals who lost their lives as a result of the terrorist attacks. Let us honor those who lost their lives on September 11, 2001, at this time by standing and saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now on to the announcements. If you missed yesterday's VPA audition workshop, you'll want to stop by the VPA information board across from the auditorium to pick up the audition tips. And now an important reminder about arrival times and procedures. Hold up! What? I think you should wait until we have everyone's attention. <clears throat> okay, they're ready now. Like I said, here's important information on the arrival times and procedures. Students are allowed in the building at 725 Monday through Thursday. Students are allowed on Fridays to enter the building from 710 to 820 <clears throat> and must enter the, their appropriate grade level door and go immediately to the LRC. Supervision is provided only in the LRC on Fridays. Students who do not abide by the guidelines will no longer be allowed on GWMS property before 725 or 825 on Fridays. If you missed the WTV informational meeting last Wednesday after school and you are interested in being a crew member or anchor, please pick up an application and information from the board across from the auditorium. Applications are due on Wednesday, September 13th. So pick one up as soon as possible so you have enough time to get to complete it and get teacher recommendations. Remember, late applications will not be accepted. Sixth grade track starts today. Also, the first VPA Wendy's night is today from 5 to 7 p.m. Whether you dine in or use the drive through a portion of the sales goes to the Washington VPA program. Head to Wendy's for dinner tonight. Remember, if you are considering running for the student council, there is a mandatory informational meeting for interested students on Tuesday, September 12th at 7.25 a.m. in the auditorium. And the informational meeting for student ambassadors is Wednesday, September 13th at 7.30 in the auditorium. That brings us to the sports news. Good luck, 7th grade volleyball players, as Washington White takes on Roosevelt Silver at Washington at 4 p.m. Washington's 8th grade white team will be playing Roosevelt Silver at Roosevelt at 4 p.m. <coughs> Happy birthday goes out to Fontu Andrews today. We hope you have the most wonderful day. And now to close with our thought of the day. Sometimes you have to step outside of the person you've been and remember the person you were meant to be, the person you wanted to be, and the person you are. Always, Always remember, remember today, today Wash. wash.